Hi, I'm Nathan from Pi3G and today I'm going to show you some very cool shortcuts for the Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to explain how you can configure your own custom shortcuts. Let's start with shortcut number one, which is Ctrl plus Alt plus T. This will open a terminal window, which is oftentimes the first thing that you have to do after booting the Pi. Although the next one is not really a shortcut, it is one of the most important keys on the Raspberry Pi. Press tab in the terminal window. This will complete any commands or paths, like for example the command uname-m to check if your OS is 32 or 64 bit, or the path to the file that shows your Raspberry Pi OS release. Next, all that you need to do to open the task manager is to press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. The task manager is a very convenient way to monitor the health of your Raspberry Pi. You can see things like the CPU or RAM usage and how much each of the currently opened programs is consuming. The next shortcut is Ctrl plus Alt plus one of the arrow keys. This allows you to move windows around very quickly and stick them to the left side, maximize them or stick them to the right side. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus left to move the window to the left, Ctrl plus Alt plus up to maximize it and Ctrl plus Alt plus right to move it to the right. Now if you want to switch programs press Alt plus Tab. This will switch back to the previous program. You can also cycle between all programs by holding down Alt and then pressing Tab until you selected the program that you want to show in front. The combination of switching programs and moving windows allows you to quickly set up two programs side by side or to work in multiple windows at the same time. Now let's get to the most exciting part of this video, which are custom shortcuts. Let's first have a look at the file that stores all the shortcuts or key bindings. Open a new terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T and then navigate to etc xdg openbox lxde pi rcxml Tab autocompletion should be very helpful here. Since this file is not meant to be overwritten, we create a copy under home.config openbox. From your home directory, change into the .config directory and then create a directory called openbox. Then you can copy the file into the newly created openbox directory. This can quickly be done with the cp command and tab autocompletion. Now, like before, open the file in your favorite editor. Move the cursor down until you reach the command key bindings for desktop switching. This is almost at the end of the document. We're going to make a new section called key bindings for reboot and shutdown. Our goal is to reboot the Pi with Ctrl plus Alt plus R and to shut it down with Ctrl plus Alt plus P. Key bindings are stored in a key bind element. In the key property of the key bind element, we can specify the key combination that we want to bind. C means Ctrl. A means Alt and S means Shift. After opening the keybind element, we can define an action. We set the name property of the action element to Execute. Then inside the action element, we place the reboot command. Then we close the action and keybind elements. For the shutdown shortcut, we create another keybind element with a key property of Ctrl Alt P. Again, we create an action named Execute. Inside the action, we put a command named power off.
After we close the action and keybind elements, we can save and close the file. If you are using the nano editor, press Ctrl plus O, then Enter and then Ctrl plus X. Now we need to manually reboot the Pi one last time for the changes to take effect. Let's test if the reboot shortcut is working properly. I'm pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus R and as you can see I'm losing connection to the Pi as it's currently rebooting. The possibilities for custom shortcuts are almost endless since you can execute whatever command you like. Let's create a shortcut that opens a website in Chromium like for example Pi Cockpit. The steps are the same as before. We create a keybind element and set the key property to our desired combination. In our case I'm choosing Ctrl plus Shift plus P for Pi Cockpit. Then again we create an action with the name Execute. The command for opening Pi Cockpit in Chromium is Chromium Browser HTTPS www.pycockpit.com Now all that's left to do is to close the keybind and action elements and to save and close the file. Then reboot the Pi one last time and check out if the shortcut is working. Let's press Ctrl plus Shift plus P and see what happens. As you can see the shortcut worked just as intended. With shortcuts like this you can really facilitate and accelerate working on the Pi. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also check out our store by zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.